Striker Chord, Music Chit Chat with your host, Valentino Kikowski. Welcome to Striker Chord. On this episode, we have Ollie Hatz, who is one of the members of Kissing in Paris, vocalist. Welcome, Ollie. Thank you for having me. Thank it's you. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Mm. Now, punk, pop, rock. Mm -hmm. Where did that stem from? Where did <laughs> Kissing in Paris stem from? Where did where 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 did Ollie get his inspiration? Well, I mean, rock and roll all started with with my dad. I think when I was a kid. Okay. He chucked on um, Stairway to Heaven. Oh, yeah, the, the, the ever popular, yeah. the iconic Stairway to Heaven. Mm -hmm. And ever since then, it was like my life changed. Yeah. It was like, this is what I want to do. Okay. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, but I mean, I guess just the punk rock and the, you know, the heavy side of it is just, I guess, um, you know, we all feel angry sometimes. Oh, and of course. Like, I'm the nicest person in the world, but like, you need to let off. Yeah, as soon as I get on the microphone, yeah. like all the anger is gone. You know what I mean? <laughs> and so, yeah. that's the, you mentioned the microphone. That the perfor mm. performing mm -hmm. that style of music requires a lot of energy, man. It does. It does. And how do you prepare for that? How do you prepare for that performance? How do you prepare yourself? Like I'm not even gonna lie. Like I think I just take all the angry moments in my life and just kind of put it into one. Okay, and you channel that. I channel it and just let it out, you know. We've got some like softer songs as well where it's just, you know, some songs are more personal, some more, are more like just a hatred for, you know, just um, the kind of society we're living in, you know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And um, music can be a very good outlet for that. A hundred percent, yeah. Um, and it can be... Music can be counselling as well for you. Definitely. For all of us. I know. Definitely, yeah. <laughs> and it can be a love-hate relationship as well, though, mm, you know. But definitely. it can be an outlet and it can be a a, a very strong tool mm. for it as well. So um, it's if you've got the ability to play music or to write or to do anything within music, it's a very powerful tool. It, you is. Know? Um, it is. Is that how you see yourself as having this powerful thing in your hands and just guiding it the way you want to guide it exactly i feel like that's exactly right and i feel like people that listen to our music are the same you know what i mean yep. i feel like if you're having a bad day or if you need to let off some steam you know instead of actually you know taking your anger out on in negative ways you can just chuck on your headphones yeah listen to some fast amazing beats and me yelling on a microphone and yeah like Mate, it's gone and it's gone look <laughs> hey it's it's sometimes though music can get you to be stressed too oh 100 percent. you know yeah, actually uh, uh, in particular creating it sometimes mm, oh, you know a billion percent <laughs> you do yeah. feel a bit of anger sometimes when yeah. you're creating it right yeah a billion percent yeah. um but at the same time it can give you so much reward you mm. know um mm. your uh, your 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 band Mm. Tell us a bit about your band. What is what is involved in your band? What is the basis of Kissing Fire? What what's, what what was it? What's it around? What what is the concept of a band? We're just four, like men from Melbourne, really. Mm. You know, and we're just living every day, just like everyone else in Melbourne. And you know, we just come together and just share our musical talents with one another. Okay. And just make the best sounding music that we can. And, and enjoying it. And enjoying it and every minute. Fun. Every minute. Yeah. Um, the recording. Mm -hmm. Did you find mm -hmm. that more challenging than actually performing live? Um, or is it a different sort of challenge? Uh, look, they're both challenges. Mm. Um, as a band, we haven't performed live yet. Um, okay. But we hope to in the next, like, I want to say two weeks and we're ready. We're ready okay. to start performing. Um, so, yeah, catch us. Um, follow us on Instagram and stuff. And that's just where I post everything, gigs, yep. music, um, kissing underscore in underscore Paris. Um, 
But look, yeah, they're both challenging. I first got on stage when I was like, I want to say like, I was a young kid. Like I was like 11. That was like my first concert. I actually played guitar. Um, But the nerves are definitely more there than recording. Recording's just kind of like throwing a bunch of shit. Can I curse? Yeah, of course you can. Okay, of course cool. you can. <laughs> <laughs> We're unregulated, mate. We're unregulated. It's, it's a Beautiful. podcast, mate. We're Beautiful. unregulated. So <laughs> you can say whatever you want, mate. That's what I love to hear. Uh, yeah. So I, I don't know. Yeah. We just throw a bunch of stuff at the wall and be like, that goes well with this. Yeah. You know? Um, before this band, actually, so I, I recorded a, a solo EP called Skull and Bones. Um, and I feel like that EP is nothing compared to this album that we're coming out with. This this album is way better songs with song structure strong song structure. Um but I didn't know what tempo was. <laughs> I didn't know what tempo I didn't know you had to like have like a certain time to hit the beat, you know? Yeah. And so that that was like the EP before where I was just angry in my room, just like playing around on my guitar and just yelling in a microphone. Um but um like I, t- I personally feel like producing and mixing and mastering is a lot harder than recording. Um, Getting the polished mm, because, end product. Yeah, because I'm a neat freak and I have to be so organized and I need everything to be perfect. Otherwise, I'm just a disaster. So that can prolong the recording and the mm. release because you can... And I, I understand because I'm, I'm somewhat the same. Mm. You can... You've always... It's always not good enough, right? Mm, yeah. Like if this, uh, you need to go back and do this, you need to mm-hmm. go back and do that, or, you know, it's not mm. right. It's This has to be done. That has to be done. But that also puts more time and time and time. So yep. it prolongs your release. It prolongs everything. And sometimes exactly. you just have to bite the bullet. Um, and, and that's sometimes the hardest thing to do, mm. to say, all right, it's ready. Yep. And you think, you know mm. what, it can mm. be, oh, if we just, we just do this, or oh, maybe if we just do that, or... You just have to say, nah, you have to be self, sort of like discipline, say, nah, mm. this is it, I have to get it out. And that's yep. why sometimes, you know, you put yourself a date, you know, a mm. deadline and, and say, nah, we've got to, we've got to release them by then and, and that's it. Yeah, definitely. And more, more more times, more often than not, it's going to be a good job, mm. right? Mm. Those little things, they're, they're nitpicking things, you know, but mm. if if you know that globally it's sounding like what it has to sound like, I, th- I think you know you should be happy with yourself and definitely it's it's definitely. hard I'm, I'm in the same boat as well yeah, it's exactly like, exactly it's, it's hard to say it's done exactly you know? i personally found that if i take a break from it like especially like your finished song you say this is finished you never know if it's perfect you know because mm. you'll listen to it again the next day and you'll be like yeah. this is the worst thing i've ever heard <laughs> it's happened a lot yeah, of times yeah, yeah 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 my my best thing is take a break from it because um, I don't know my my the drummer from our band James he um he does he studies music mm. and one of the best things his music teachers said and he said to me um James has said to me it, and the rest of the band is that take a break from it because if yeah. we play this song over and over and over again yeah. got a point it's in our brain that like we're nitpicking everything that doesn't need to be nitpicked yeah and that goes for end to end Mm. Right, the the playing, the recording, the mix down, mm-hmm. the mastering. You need to have breaks in between, otherwise, you, you yeah, you'll, you'll go nuts. Your your you ears will. get shot, and you you're not hearing the same things. Your mind's yep. playing tricks on you. It's the same thing as hearing something on the radio. Yeah, you hear it too many times. You're like, this song's terrible. Yeah, but the first time you listen to it, you're like, wow, this is amazing. It becomes mundane after that. It mm. becomes a you know, mm. um, yeah, yeah, you're, you're definitely right, and and mm. I think if you can. You know, if, if if you can recognize that, and you can, you know, it's 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 a good thing. Mm. On the other side of it, though, you know, it, if you take it too far, it's like, where do I stop? Mm. Yeah, exactly. I need to release this album. Where do I exactly, stop? Exactly, exactly. You know, otherwise you're never gonna <laughs> you, release it. Yeah, yeah. you go crazy. You yeah. think, and 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 I've I've had tracks where I've I haven't released them yet. Mm-hmm. Been years. Yeah, same, same. And yeah. I'm still not happy with them. So, same. Yeah. You know, it's yeah, yeah it's, it's a, a very um. It's it it it's a very um, you need you need to balance it a hundred billion percent yeah you know? it's yeah. it's it's hard it's hard but when you're 
when you're playing it live though mm. and you get the opportunity to, to play it live mm. that's when you think okay how have I recorded it you know mm -hmm. now what can I make it how can I make it live what how is it going to mm -hmm. sound live do mm -hmm. we need to change things do we need to do this mm -hmm. maybe there's a few layers here what can we do to actually make it sound good good live mm -hmm. because a lot of the times a lot a lot of musicians they layer things in you know in mm -hmm. the studio they put different things in different effects it's yep. not going to sound like that exactly exactly and that's another challenge how do yep. we make it sound you know live so have, have you guys prepared for that yeah so our band have been um we've been together almost six months i think oh you guys are um, that's very young Band, yeah. like six months yeah i mean we just came in and like went crazy but like two months of it like our our, our rhythm guitarist who's now our bass player um had to leave and go on holiday so that was a struggle for us but we've been um we've been practicing at melbourne uni um every week on a sunday so oh, cool so we just we know what that energy feels like to be on stage and now we're we're we're, we're so close to, mm. to to blowing Melbourne's head off with have you got with anything booked? Have you got? Is there a show booked? Not, not yet. yet. Not yet. But um, I'm a freak. Like, I won't stop until I get um like good shows for us. Yeah. Like I'm I'm a freak. I'm a work freak. Like I just don't stop. I don't know. I don't have like an off button. <laughs> I think that's like the worst fault in me. I just can't stop. Like I have to continually do something. Yeah. Just take care of yourself because you can yeah. burn out too, right? I know. I so know you need to take care yeah. of yourself. Yeah. Um, look, Melbourne's full of places where you can do yeah. stuff. A billion right? percent. And I think the we're pretty lucky to be in Melbourne because it's so diverse. You want to find any sort of band. You want to go and find country, you can find country. You want to find mm. rock, you can find rock. You want to go and find classical, mm. you can do that. You want to find something that's left field, mm -hmm. you can find that as well. A billion percent. You know? um, um, and yeah. that's... That's the beauty of Melbourne, and I'm sure you, you guys will get there. Oh, a hundred percent. Like I, I listened to your album, and it's full of energy. It's thank like, you. It's full of energy. You've got a few places where you can rest, mm. <laughs> which you need to, <laughs> but it's just full of energy, and yep. and, and the sound is, is 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 quite good. Where did you guys mm. record the um album? So um the first that first one that you've that you yeah so on Spotify it's um it's actually an EP that um I just um made myself so that was okay. just me um under the same name kissing in paris it was the second ep i ever released um and we're actually thinking about scrapping it and um maybe chucking it under like my solo stuff or something okay just because this album is so much more fleshed out it's so much more um polished mm. and it, it's I, I believe it's gonna blow people away Okay. Um, and we we cannot wait to release it, and we can't wait for you guys to hear it. Yeah, yeah. How were you guys recording it? All in the one room recording, or it's a bit of uh, studio magic? So yeah, a bit of both. Um, we're recording in my parents' garage, um, and it's yeah. I mean, my my garage is messy. It's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess it adds to the whole aesthetic, right? Like yeah, we're, of course. we're we're all it's nobodies. Punk. Yeah. It's like punk. we're all nobodies and, and this is you know, this is our, our our shot to be like, yeah, this is this is us and this is our this is everything we've worked so hard for and this is this is our passion and, and love for music and Melbourne City as a whole because yeah. this city is the best city in the world. So yeah. So the name. Mm-hmm. You come up with it? I came up with yeah. Anything behind it, or you, you just come into your head? I don't know. I, <laughs> I don't know what it means. I I think it's kind of like I kind of thought this over my head a bit, but it doesn't really make sense. So, but I mean, look, if, if people like it, I guess it's it just means like it's the most romantic thing I could ever think of. Okay, so romance was in the back of your mind. Yeah, but I feel like if you were actually in Paris kissing someone it won't be as romantic as you think it would be yeah you got a point you, you know what you, i mean you know, you, i think you might have a point there yeah you know? a billion percent and i just feel like that's kind of like what we stand for isn't it it's it's a bit of like you know nothing in life is perfect mm, of course yeah of course look and nothing in music is perfect as well you know no. so when you when, when you from it's it's about the journey sometimes you know exactly um, exactly 
where you've started, where you're heading, mm-hmm. and where you end up. And this is the thing that sometimes, even musicians, I know I've I've overlooked it many times before. You know, you, you forget about the journey. You forget about you know you just want to get from point A to point B. You're here. You've done it. And you've forgotten about how you got there. Exactly. Exactly. You know, it's important mm. to actually enjoy yourself along the way. Sometimes, sometimes it's hard, you know, mm. but as much as you can in- enjoy it because you might not have that journey again. Mm. Thank you. you. Know? Yeah. I, I didn't even think of that. Yeah. <laughs> Look, you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's a normal thing, you know, you just want to yeah. get to, to that point. You want to get to that point, mm. you know, like you guys, exactly. you want to, you want exactly. to blow Melbourne's head off with gigs, you know? So you want to just get to that point. Exactly. Exactly. But getting there, sometimes it's a journey as well. It's, mm. it's, it's, it's never the perfect journey. Mm-hmm. But you, it's good to step back and say, all right, where, are, where am I now? What am I doing? Mm-hmm. I've just finished this recording. Okay. This is where I'm at. This is the phase, you know? Mm. And, and, and absorb it. Definitely. And then... Go for the next, the, the, whatever the next thing's going to be, you a know. A billion percent. Yeah, right on. So when you, and, and, and when, when you get to that point mm-hmm. and you're going to be ready, you've, you've got the gig, you're going to, you know, you're about to, to get on and everything like that. Mm-hmm. What, what do you think it's going to be like? What, what, do you, what, do you, what are you expecting? What, what's your expectation? Extreme anxiety. <laughs> we all get that, mate. That's, a, that's part and parcel. Part and parcel with every gig, right? Yeah. But what's your what's your expectation? You, 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 is your expectation a big crowd? Is your expectation good sound? Is your expectation high energy? Is your expectation, you know, being that rock star? Or is it my first gig? Let's just see how it goes. I honestly don't know what to expect. Okay. Um, all I know is we're going to give it a billion percent and Good the, energy be, the energy will be there and whether if there's 10 people or a thousand people. So. And that's very important. Yeah. As a musician, as, as an artist, very, very, very important. Definitely. And and also on stage, you also have to be engaging, right? A hundred percent. That that as well, like, yeah. you know, and if it, you know, if, if it's, you know, me jumping off the stage or you jumping off the stage, well, so be it. You know, you just, you know, you just, that, that engagement with the, with the crowd is very, very important. And, mm-hmm. and you guys will see it and you guys will receive it. And that's where the magic happens. Yeah. Yeah. You know, can't wait. Yeah. When you started all your, your journey and you started your music journey, not, not just the band, but you meet your music journey. Mm-hmm. What was what what was it like at home? Like when you started the journey with your parents and everything, how was it at home for Ollie when you started this musical journey? Um, I mean, you said you, you, you was you started listening so at the heaven quite young, right? Yeah, so you, you were on that yeah. trajectory. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess I, I had like I had that rock phase when I was young, you know, and I was obsessed. And I feel like rap kind of and, and hip hop, you know, just took over completely. Okay. And how old were you then? Like 12, 13, okay. 14. Okay. Yeah. And then I was like, I was hooked on that, you know? Yep. And I wanted to be a rapper like every other person in the world. And everyone just kept saying, you know, you're not good enough. And like, okay. I, I feel like, you know, I've kind of slapped everyone in the face. Like, hey, look at me now. Like, yeah. I've got rap songs, I've, you know, and, and, and it's, it, it, it's a crazy journey. I feel like my life is, you know, a billion layers, I'm sure, like with everyone else's life. Um, but I guess like my, my, my parents were, uh, have always been amazing, you know, like my, my parents, you know, my family's not perfect, but it's the closest thing, mm. you know. Um, you know, I'll never forget, you know, uh, recording the first EP, like I would wait for my parents to to leave the house and my sister and like I, I think I recorded the whole thing in like two takes in like 30 minutes when they were let like they left yeah you found <laughs> I, the opportunity there yeah, it was you, the you're by yourself and that's I'm it like bang <laughs> like I'm yelling like yeah. <laughs> you know and singing you know yeah 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 and when you show your parents the recording mm-hmm. you know because a lot of parents a lot of a lot of people don't have, you know, they come from families that 
the family's like, we know about music. And when they go into the music thing and they think, oh, the parents are a bit, hang on. So what are you going to mm. do for a real job? You know? So mm. Yeah, definitely. How did your parents react when you said, all right, this is, this is what I do mm-hmm. and this is what I'm going to do? Um, look, they're supportive. But um, I've, like I said, I don't stop. Like I, I've always had jobs. Mm. I mean, I guess when I was young, I didn't really have jobs. But yeah, I mean, now that you say it, I did drop out of high school in year 11 because I'm someone, if if, if someone's teaching me something I don't want to know, it's like, I don't want to know it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I always knew I wanted to do music, but like I said, I had everyone in the background saying, you know, you'll never be a rapper, you know, you'll yeah. never make any money off it. And it's like, I didn't care. I just wanted to do it. Just wanted to make music. And... Yeah. Um, and was that did was that uh, more of a push to you for you to actually do it even more? Like with, with them saying, "Oh no, you're not going to do it." Yep. Was that a push for you to say, "All right, well, you know what? That's gonna that's giving me fuel. I'm going to do it even more." Was that was that the a case? A billion percent. Yeah. A billion percent. Yeah. Because there are some people who say, "Oh, you know what? Um, they're probably right," and yeah, then yeah. they'll go into. Oh yeah. You know. Yeah, I definitely feel like that. Definitely sometimes, you know. But then, I don't know, I just have this fucking brain that's like, I've got to learn this in music, like learning, you know, the guitar better, like Mm. I'm learning the bass, you know, and it's like, it's just motivation to keep living for me, really, you know, Um, yeah, and it's just what I love to do, even if like, I die tomorrow, like I'd be happy because I'm pursuing my musical endeavors you know yeah. so. and you're you're embedded now mm. so you've embedded yourself and mm. look it's it's not an easy journey mm-hmm. but if it's it's a very satisfying one when you when, when you achieve something uh, especially yeah. in music it's it's always um everything that's good is always hard right mm, exactly. um but when you when you get there it's it's um there's nothing more satisfying especially playing mm. on stage it's, it's like a it's like a drug yeah. You know, it's like you can't get enough of it sometimes. Uh-huh. Um, it doesn't matter what music you play. Yeah. Yeah. When you're up on stage, you're it doesn't matter about the crowd. They 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 they're watching. Mm-hmm. If it's that sort of a gig. <laughs> if mm-hmm. it's not something gig where no one's like all the talking as which I hate those gigs, but if you're up on stage and you're performing and people mm-hmm. are there, people are there watching you, mm-hmm. they they're there for you, right? And that 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 sense that you're, you know, you need to give them something. Mm, you know, yeah. and then and then when they're going off and they really they're really performing your performance and everything like mm-hmm. there's no better drug than that. Yeah, you know, yeah, and any definitely. other musician can can tell you that. Definitely, you know? definitely. So when you guys go up there, yeah, you know, we'll kill it for in, you guys in, in Melbourne. So you guys have to watch <laughs> out for these guys. So, um, yeah, just enjoy it, mm. enjoy it. Yeah, you know? we are. Yeah, what's the biggest show you've ever played? I've played some really big shows, like yeah. the biggest part, I think it was about three or four grand, three or four thousand people like really? overseas. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Overseas. But that's, yeah, but that's, that's long gone now. Yeah. So now <laughs> we're, we're concentrating now on the here and now. So, yeah. um, and it's, it's not easy. Mm. It's not easy. Mm. Um, yeah. but the way it's going now, like a lot of venues are booking in a lot of acts. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Um, and I th- a lot of the venues are actually booked out till January next year now. So mm, mm. if you guys want to book in a show, you guys need to hit it early, mm, you know? Mm, we will. Just, we will. Um, yeah, just enjoy it. Yeah, you know, Just enjoy will. it. Yeah, as long as you're happy. That's it. All that matters. Any other projects apart from the album? Any any other projects? Anything else that you're working on musically? Anything? Not really. Just with anyone else or just? That's it. Like that's all that's going on in my life. Just are you still writing? Are you still? Yeah, you're still yeah. every day. Yeah, so yeah. every day you write every day. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah, yeah. Gee, I'm crazy. good on you. <laughs> so <laughs> it just comes, or do you actually sit down and specifically say, "All right, I'm going to write it right, right today," or it just sort of like comes to you and just sit down and you just thought both. Yeah, both. Both definitely. definitely. How do you how do you plan your day? Sorry. How do you plan your day? I. So I literally just wake up, work out, um, just, you know, wash my teeth. What else do I do? Get so when is up. that the point when you sit sit down and say, oh, I'm going to start, I'm going to write some lyrics or I'm going to write some music? Usually after work or um, if I'm not working, band practice. Okay. Or after band practice, really. 
Do you get the other band members involved? Is is that a joint thing, or is it sort of like a sol- silo thing that you do your, on your own? They haven't wrote any of the lyrics, but they write like the guitar riffs. Or they the, write the music. Yeah, they they write the. Okay, the so you give them the the lyrics and say, mm-hmm. "Let's put something together." Something like that. Yeah, I mean, it, it changes between song to song, but um, yeah, I mean, yeah, like. Even like a couple songs I've wrote on guitar and then like I've shown to the guitarist and yep. he's been like, yep, we can do that. But then let's make it a bit more clean and a bit more better yep. as if, yeah, my guitar's pretty distorted and punk rocky and yep. not perfect. But yeah, like he's But he's that's amazing. the whole point, right? Yeah, exactly. So from a punk rock slash pop, who's your influence? <sighs> There's a billion. I listen to everything. Like I listen to everything. Except for Taylor Swift. I don't like Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Like the biggest for me personally would be Oasis. Oasis. Yeah? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like Oasis is just such an amazing band. Um, Oasis and then anything like Blink-182. Definitely okay. one of the best okay. punk rock bands ever. Um, rancid, I'll go on forever. Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. Cool. So you're yeah. you're into the older, love it all, old love it school. All. So even even the new punk rock's coming out. MGK people hate MGK, but MGK's got some good songs. He's got some good songs. Okay. Yeah. So it's 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 good that you you're going back. Mm. You know. Oh, hundred percent. You have to. Yeah. You have to appreciate all the grades. Yeah. Oh to. yeah, of course, of course, and that's what will make you a a, a better musician and, and appreciate. Mm. All the hard work that's gone into that, mm. you've got, you've sort of like got to emulate it yeah, to, to, to get there, you know? Yeah, so, 100%. And you'll, you, you, everyone finds their own sound, but there's always a inspiration. There's always a starting mm. point. Oh, Definitely. Look, you know, this is, you know, mm. what I'll listen to. This is, and then from there you, you, you take it out, you dissect it and you think, yep. oh, maybe this is my sound, you know? Exactly. Because um, we, we, we never produce anything original because we've, we've listened to all these sounds and music mm. and then you you mix in this and you mix that and then you come up with your own little mm. concoction you know exactly exactly um the the way you record and the way you write music oh sorry, and lyrics and, and write music mm-hmm. do you then jump into let's just record this see how it goes or do you massage it a little bit more, give it to someone, get feedback from it, see what this sounds like? Or do you just go, nah, this is recorded and that's it? Both. So everything. I've had songs where I've just gone in the booth and I've just sung and, and off the top of my head. Okay. You know, like, yeah, like I said, like I used to rap and I used to freestyle a lot for my yep. friends. My friends used to love that. <laughs> Um, and, and yeah, like I just get in the booth and, and just sing and, and rap even and, 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 you know, yell (laughs) and and, and yeah, improvise it all and, and, and it can sound great. Um, lots of everything I write, like I literally just throw it away. I don't know why, but like, I mean, I don't like throw it away. Like I've got a book at home, like my phone's just got lyrics like crazy. But you never, you don't go back to them often. No, I don't. But then there's, there's certain songs that stand out and I'll, I'll be like, Every like maybe once a month, I'll be like, I need to record this song. Yeah, you know. But then yeah, the same thing. Like I'll, I'll, I'll I guess as, as the band, we 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 come into practice. Someone's wrote a riff. Usually the guitarist Dimmy, shout out Dimmy, and uh, we'll just write on top of that. Or even it, it, even like better. Uh, some of our best songs, we all just improvise. We record it, and then we're like, we'll dissect it, and we'll be like. Okay, we can change this part. We can add a bridge. We can do whatever, and and that's just how how it all comes about. And yeah, I mean, it's it's incredible. That's the beauty about working with a band. Mm. You know, oh, it's, you it's get amazing. to bounce off everyone. Yeah, yeah. Some some things will work out really good. You know, mm. some things well, you'll need to work on it a bit more. Mm. But having that and, and and I know from personal experience, having that band and having those people to bounce off and saying, oh, okay, mm. you know what. That sounds good. Mm. What if you do, what if you try this and you think, oh, yeah, opens up. You think, exactly. oh, this yeah. is uh, my way better. Yeah, you know, I'm learning every, like new things every week. Yeah, you know that the, the band band will, will teach me something, and I'll, I'm just soaking it all in. Yeah, until I know all of it. 
<laughs> and and that's the way to do it. Um, yeah, you know, yeah. it, it's the people that you're with rub off on you, and mm. that's so, it's very true because mm. if you're with people that are especially mu- like musicians, and, and I'm talking generally here, but even people you hang out, but with musicians, mm-hmm. you'll find that you'll start you'll start the music will start to sound like that band, you know, because you're all rubbing off on each other. You're all, it's going in a circle, right? And then that band has that unique sound and that's what makes exactly. that sound, you know? E- e- exactly. Spot on. Yeah. Yeah. In the band, guitar, bass, mm-hmm. drums, and guitar and vocals. And you play a bit of guitar. I do. Every yeah. now and then, yeah? yeah. So, so you got, you play rhythm? Rhythm, yeah. You got a solid guitar, mm-hmm. bass and drums. Mm-hmm. How does that, all revolve when you when you sit down and rehearse, right? You, mm-hmm. you start you say, "All right, we're going to do this song." Do you have a set way of rehearsing, or you just go in it and you start start jamming? Um. So yeah, it used to be like it, it used to be like that. Like we just all go in and jam and 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 practice some of our songs that we've wrote together. But now we've we've wrote like a whole set list. Um, so okay. So you put structure. Yeah, yeah, we've got structure now. That's good. Yeah. So now we've got the whole set list that's done. We've wrote all the songs. We mm-hmm. literally just need to practice them, and then then we're ready to start 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 taking off. Um, yeah. 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 Do you find because as you say you don't stop mm. having structure there? Does that help you? Yeah, that's I'm the organized one in the band. Believe it or not. Um, yeah, like. Uh, I have to I, I don't know what it is but like I have everything's got to be perfect otherwise I don't want to do it you know uh, everything's got to be not not so perfect in my way but just yeah maybe perfect's not the right word everything's got to be good yeah you know what I mean everything's got to be good because I, I, I know the difference between like a good sounding song and a song that isn't well put together mm. um, and I feel like that's the difference between my old EPs Unfortunately, and 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 this album that mm. we're coming up with, but look, it, you have to look at it from a point where you're developing too. A hundred percent. You know, like um, that that you think to say, oh, it doesn't sound good, but but for that particular time, then mm. you know, it's something that you achieved, right? It's yeah. Good, you think, yeah. You know. If, yeah, I look at my guitar playing from like two months ago to where I'm at now, and I'm like, wow, like I've grown so much. Yeah. In, y- in that two months, you sort of like go into a to you know back in time and you think mm. you know for that time at that point of time it was actually not bad that that recording mm. was okay for then yeah. now of course you can develop yeah. you know, we all do we all exactly. it's a never ending loop of, of, yeah. of learning right definitely but you know you there's there's something there to say this is what i've achieved mm. i've got something there mm. yeah it can be better but for then you know you you're doing Pretty wrapped, you right? Yeah, a hundred percent. So you yep. say so they're, they're the things that I'm saying. You know, enjoy the journey, enjoy that, enjoy yeah. those things because yeah. we have a look at sometimes. You know? Yeah, exactly. And exactly, well, you know, you get to um, speed up your life and speed up the process too much. You know? Mm, yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. Yeah, we, we stress out too much <laughs> as a band. Yeah. Not gonna lie, we, we stress out, we fight a bit, but um. Uh, we're, look, we're good now. Like, yeah, yeah, look, a lot of bands fight, and a lot of bands, you know, come out, you know, mm. being that band, being a band that have been together for a very long time. Exactly, exactly. You know? and, and we all just want, you know, want to better ourselves. And you guys do it within the heart of the band, right? Mm. Um, mm. And there's always something to learn from someone. From Exactly. You know, always. And always keep an eye and an ear out of what's going on. You know, yeah. the sounds, oh, maybe this or maybe that, you know. Um, being what you do and everything like that, have you found sounds where it's not the sound that is you mm. but have tried to done a bit of experiment of putting into your music have you done have you, have you ever done that yeah definitely definitely um give, so us, an, give us an example what what, what, what was it so our, our, our bass um guitarist uh jack he's a dj as well okay. i honestly don't know how he does it like he's one of the most talented musicians i've ever met um and like he, we've got this one song um called we're now broke and he just came in to the to my apartment one day and 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 just like played around on the computer and he just made this amazing sounding beat like with like 
not real drums, like, and, and, and like synthesizers and stuff. And I'm Which like, was the polar opposite of what you're doing. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and it came, it just came out so well. And I was like, just blown away. Mm. And everyone else, else in the band was blown away as well. And they're, they're like, we need like, like we, we need to continue on this song. It's still not finished, but it, it, it's definitely different. From from what we we've normally done, opened up your yeah, yeah. you know I had to sing really clean on it too, and I'm like oh, <laughs> but, but that's, that, that, it sounds that, good though. That's again, that's your development, right? That's yeah. where you know give that a crack. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, and that's that was that's a great example because mm. you often see or you hear things and you think, mm, nah, I probably won't do. It. But until you do it, until you mm. go in there and just and, and you do it physically, and you think, oh okay. Mm. Maybe it does fit or maybe, yeah, you know, it exactly. can work. You exactly. Know? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I shouted everyone in the band uh, except for James, the drummer. So shout out <laughs> James, <laughs> the amazing drummer, by the way. Amazing. So actually give us a bit of a bit of a rundown on, on, mm-hmm. on, on the group, who they are, what yeah. they do and, you know, give, give us a bit of an insight. So, you know. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm Ollie. I'm the vocalist. Um, we got Dimmy. Um, he's the lead guitarist. We got um, Jack on bass and James on drums. So yeah, hopefully I didn't mix up the names anywhere, but I'm <laughs> sure I didn't. Jack and James, it's it's a hard one. But yeah. <laughs> and you've been together for six months. Yeah, around about six months. It's a funny story how we how we all met. If, if yeah, yeah, if you want to know, go for I, it. Go I, I for guess it. I'm sure people will, will want to know. So I um, broke into Melbourne Uni and just like started putting posters everywhere, like like little. A4 sheet of paper that I've wrote on Google Doc, like <laughs> looking for a band. I don't have anyone, but hey, I'm looking for a band. <laughs> and then that's how I met the drummer, and that's where we started playing. Really? Yeah, down at Melbourne Uni to Far rehearse. Out. Um, like before that, I, I I got everyone else on I think on Facebook. Um, uh, I think the same page I, I met you from. Oh, okay, yeah, um, the, the Musos page. Yeah, that one. Community. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, so I met them off that that Facebook page, um, Dimmy and uh, Jack. I uh, met them off that page, and then uh, we we had a different drummer um, before before James, and uh, he came uh, and a different bass player as well. So Jack used to do rhythm guitar. I told you he's so talented. He knows everything. Anyway, um. So I had everyone come around my apartment, like all strangers, all at the same time. I had a drum kit and like we played for 10 minutes before we got a noise complaint. <laughs> like, I don't know if you can picture like an apartment complex where everyone's <laughs> next to each other. <laughs> and this is like my first week moving in by myself. Oh, really? And, and like, I, I didn't tell anyone. What time? I did, I did, uh, uh, it was like, it was like. 11 in the afternoon oh really yeah oh, that was all right i know but yeah they didn't let us go but i mean we played for like 20 30 minutes um and then you got like, a knock on the door no so we got knock on the door after the 10 15 <laughs> minutes and then like we continued playing for another like, 20 <laughs> and then and then there yeah, then we packed it up and then i lost the <laughs> bass player and the drummer from that like the uh from from, from that well, I think, jam session. Yeah, but I think the bass player, I forgot his name, unfortunately. He was really good. And um, we'll walk in like at the front of the apartment complex because we're going to the pub after, of course. And then the the bass player um, like hopped in the car with his mum. And I'll never forget it because like I'm dressed like this, you know, this is how I dress. And then like, you know, everyone else is quite alternative, I guess. And um, the mum's given us the biggest like greasy looking oh, really? <laughs> death stare I've like ever seen and but the thing was he was the most keen I feel like his mum was like don't hang around those boys influences the, influences yeah they're going to the pub yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well look I wish you all the very best and I wish you all the Thank very you best so of luck with the whole band um, hopefully you. you guys you know you do rock Melbourne and do blow Thank Melbourne's head so off with much. your gigs um Thanks for coming on the podcast as well. Anytime. Thank you so much for having me. And um, absolute pleasure thank you for listening to me rant. That's People all right. Out there. <laughs> <laughs> um, we also want to give a shout out to the Yes Year Revival here for, for this amazing place. And um, thank you for some videos coming up here as well. Um, and also to my production team as well. Um, awesome as always. Um, Cake clips for these beautiful cakes as well. Um, and up until, you know, up, uh, up, up, up.
until next time and in the next podcast um yeah yeah i want to thank you once again and hopefully we do this again sometime in the future most definitely thank you so much for having me thank you pleasure hope you enjoyed the strike record podcast please sure to visit valentinoflamenco.com to access more podcast episodes news and other projects that i'm currently working on thanks for listening and watching